Okay, so this video will now be taking a look at the difference between cilia, microvilli, and goblet cells. Now, first of all, these are related to the epithelial cells. We know there's four types of cells in the human body. This is related to the epithelial cells. So if we have four epithelial cells here, let's say also with the basement membrane down here. So this is the basement membrane. And that's kind of the what the epithelial cells sort of sit on. Now, if we take a couple of these epithelial cells and we sort of zoom in here of course epithelial cells are not shaped like these little squares I have here but if you zoom in at the apical layer which is the top layer of the epithelial cells it looks kind of wavy is really what it technically looks like so and again we're talking about the difference between cilia microvilli and goblet cells as it relates to these epithelial cells so first of all when it has these little wavy points here the microvilli are the little top heels, the little finger-like projections. These are the microvilli. That's what it's talking about. And, and these uh, increase the surface area. And you, people hear that and wonder, what does that mean, increase the surface area? That means if you stretched out this top part here, it would increase, it would be longer than if it was straight, like over here. That's what they mean by increase the surface area. Uh, now, the second thing is, is the cilia. So, again, the finger-like projections, not the down part, not sort of the going down the hill part, but the upper part, the hill part, these are the microvilli. Now, the cilia, these are the little hair-like projections that are on top of all of the apical layer here. So, these are the cilia. And this is used in the human body for a variety of reasons, in the digestive system, in the female reproductive system, a variety of areas to help sort of brush and push things along that are, that are sort of floating by. That's the function of the cilia. Now the goblet cells, goblet cells also have the same thing. They're basically epithelial cells is what they are. So they still have the microvilli and the cilia. So this here, this cell here, this is a regular, so that we just say, reg, let's call it epithelial, epithelial cell, regular epithelial cells, or normal. Now, the goblet cell is also an epithelial cell. It's also an epithelial cell. But the difference is, is that this secretes mucus. That's the difference. So you have two epithelial cells that are next to each other like this, but if this one is secreting mucus, this one is a goblet cell. Because it's secreting mucus. It's secreting mucus where? At the apical layer. It's secreting mucus that's going to the right and to the left and getting all on top of everything else, particularly in the digestive system and many other areas. But that's the difference between these two. So goblet cells and epithelial cells are really the same thing. But, the, if, you, but if you see an epithelial cell that's secreting mucus, that's also a, considered a goblet cell inside of the structures are the same. But the difference is one secretes mucus and one doesn't. Now, another point to remember here, as it relates to the goblet cells, the goblet cells, and the cilia. These two goblet cells and cilia are only in the columnar epithelium. Only in the columnar. Columnar epithelium. Because we know there's other shapes. We know we have cuboidal. We have squamous. We have transitional. We have all these other different types of shapes of epithelial tissue. But the, but the, the cilia and the, and the goblet cells are only in the columnar shape, which is a sort of pillar, like the columns. That's why they call them columnar. That's where you will find it. You, so meaning you will not find goblet cells and cilia in cuboidal, squamous, or transitional cells.